Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It is a new week, and of course, that means we've got some new updates inbounds for Warzone and MW3. In theory, this upcoming week is kind of like the quote unquote mid season update for season six. It's not a true full on mid season update, but we're kind of seeing the halfway transition point of season six. There's technically only four weeks for this season before we get really into the Black Ops 6 sort of pre-season period if you will but that said we do have some new content upcoming we've got uh some new event changes in game quite a few things to break down usually of course in these weekly preview videos we go over like the trello board or any updates that have been announced but honestly sledgehammer raven the trellos they haven't really been updated all that much over the past couple of days we did however see something pretty interesting happen in the back end of call of duty the more technical and business side of things that does make a uh, you know an interesting change change for the future especially like focusing long term on what's to come beyond maybe black ops 6 or even cod 2025 charlie intel ended up posting this over the weekend saying a new law in california which takes effect january 1st will require digital stores to clearly state on the buy screen if the item one requires an online connection to play and two state that the online game services could shut down eventually so why is this important well one black ops 6 as we all know requires you to be connected to the internet for everything if you're playing multiplayer you obviously have to be connected to the internet if you're playing zombies even as a solo player you have to be connected to the internet and crazy enough even if you're just playing the campaign of black ops 6 you have to be connected to the internet so uh starting in 2025 on january 1st when this law takes effect there's gonna be a noticeable pop-up on everything you buy in this game the black cell the battle pass any bundles any stuff like that that says hey you're always required to be online to access this content and and you may recall a big deal a little while back is when Warzone 2 dropped, Warzone 1 shut down and all your cosmetics, all your skins, bundles, everything for Warzone was erased unless you go to the specific game and go individually play Modern Warfare 2019 or individually play Cold War, Vanguard, what have you. Uh, now, going forward, you know, if they plan on doing that again, when a Warzone 3 would happen, potentially like with COD 2026 or COD 2027, uh, they go through and then they erase the old war zone from mw2 mw3 black ops 6 whatever else and that content becomes inaccessible unless you go to those specific games well we'll actually have a much larger heads up this time because there's gonna have to be a notice that says hey you're buying this bundle but these services may be shutting down at some point in the future so it's good for transparency for sure it's stuff that likely won't impact us a ton outside of like the always online stuff in the relatively near future but something that is definitely good for overall transparency and expectations going forward i would say Anyway, focusing a bit more on actual in-game updates, in-game content this week, we do have quite a bit going on, as mentioned, for like the sort of fake mid-season updates. So, of course, it being a new week, that means on Wednesday, we are going to see a standard routine weekly update. We may see some other additional mini updates or hot fixes go out. Sometimes they like to drop patch notes on Tuesdays. Of course, if that happens, there is no better place to stay up to date with everything going on in COD than this channel right here. So, if you're new here, if you have not subscribed yet, feel free to hit that that subscribe button every single day we are growing closer and closer to 1 million it'd be so cool if we could hit that before the end of the year and of course if you enjoy this video a like rating would be really appreciated as well uh much love as always to everyone who takes the time to do so but of course with our standard routine weekly update this week we are going to see the week three challenges go live and with this uh it's actually just going to be a blueprint reward this time around usually we see a couple of aftermarket parts then a blueprint towards the end uh we do have week four challenges that'll I think include the uh Stormender uh, aftermarket part but this week is supposedly going to be just a straight up blueprint reward so nothing too crazy but of course if you're going for that season six mastery camo you're going to want to go through and complete those challenges on Wednesday right alongside that we're also going to see a new event update drop on Wednesday and I believe this is what the battle pass countdown timer is going to be for with the trick-or-treat candy hunt event because this one is actually going to be sector based apparently according to leaks there's going to be different sectors and the description of this event is as follows 
Collect candy to unlock rewards. Some will be tricks, some will be treats. Equip the Sam or Sam Unmasked Operator earned to earn even more candy per match. Fill up the king size bar for the ultimate treat. So in these individual sectors, you'll be able to go through, collect candy to get various different rewards. I think there's like 20 plus rewards or something like that. And then if you do all the sectors, you get the king size bar, you fill that up and you're, uh, you're good to go. You'll get like the max reward for the entire event. And this candy hunt event is going from October 2nd all the way until October 16th, which is effectively like the end date for uh season six if you will so it's going to be a longer event probably take some time to fully unlock all the sectors and collect all the candy but that'll be available across multiplayer zombies and warzone of course alongside that we're also going to see a slight shift in content the purgatory mode for rebirth is still going to be there however we are probably going to be switching over to vondal knight i imagine since it's the halfway point of the season we're going to go from zombie royale on resurgence hellspawn which of course is rebirth to zombie royale on vondal knight so obviously it's still vondal same layout same everything going on there except it is nightfall so lights are turned on on all the street lamps it's definitely a very ominous kind of spooky vibe they say the sun once again sets on vondal as the moon casts lights and long shadows over the city and its canals battle under the cover of night from the castle to the cruise terminal and secure victory via expert navigation of the map's extensive waterways though visibility is good and the city's infrastructure is still intact allowing ground level illumination the undead terrors awaiting you across vondal are an additional concern so some places will be well lit because they have the infrastructure they have the lighting and there's moonlight showing other places might be kind of dark and spooky so a uh, nice little switch up there for vondal uh, of course that's going to be an actual playlist replacement going from zombie royale on rebirth to zombie royale on vondal night and with that besides that changeover we should be expecting no major changes on the warzone playlist front which obviously kind of sucks you may recall raven posted a tweet last week saying hey we're consolidating playlists in the future battle royale solos and quads resurgence duos and quads are the main playlists maybe they'll come to their senses and realize that no one really likes this playlist update whatsoever and they'll revert something or they'll change something there but i personally would not be expecting much in the way of any significant playlist changes probably for the remainder of uh, of warzone before we integrate with black ops 6 with season one in uh, you know a couple months time which is pretty unfortunate in my opinion uh beyond that of course wednesday is also going to see a new playlist update for multiplayer no significant previews for that as of now but we'll see a couple of new modes switch out for that presumably and then of course because every single week we are getting closer and closer and closer to the launch of black ops 6 it's a good chance we could see some more black ops 6 announcements reveals or other uh deep dives and intel drops they have confirmed they're going to continue to detail a couple of different things from maps to other launch day up updates and various stuff like that so if there are any announcements any reveals on that front again you guys know where to find the latest need to know info it is right here so feel free to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with that and everything else going on in cod but that is effectively going to wrap things up for this video if you enjoyed it a like rating on your way out would be seriously appreciated but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later peace out